Hello friends, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So another important Java interview question is overloading. What is the purpose of overloading? Why you need to do overloading? Okay. So let's say like you are developing a reusable class. Let's say like reading utilities is a class you are doing. And the purpose of this class is to read from different sources. Let's say like read from file. So I kept like this and i wanted to read from buffered reader so i kept like this buffered reader similarly i wanted to read from uh, input stream reader so i kept like this okay so if you observe something here both of the methods three of the methods are having the same param same method name sorry here same method name and different parameters parameters okay parameters could be different or order of parameter could be different okay order of parameter could be different inside same class is called as method overloading okay so based on the type you are passing java compiler will identify which of the method to be invoked if i pass file this file would be invoked if i pass uh, buffer reader buffer reader will be invoked if i pass input stream input stream will be invoked so in this order this will take care so this uh, at compile time this being handled right behavior is changing right so this is also called compile time polymorphism compile time polymorphism okay Overloading is a like a runtime polymorphism because your invocation will be different at different classes. Okay, then comes this part. Okay, uh, overloading. Why do I need to do here? Is like I can keep read file, read buffer, read a read input stream as a three different methods. Right? You can do that, but with that right readability maintainability will be lost in this case readability will be more that is why it is always recommended to use like this your method should speak what you are going to do okay so let's show with a practical example in this case okay so i have a vehicle here let's develop a display functionality like void display and i am going to display the string uh, by passing one parameter okay then then the similar display functionality i am going to do it for two parameters okay string registration okay now you could see there is no issue is there here so now what we can say is like these two methods are overloaded because the parameters are different right let's say like the same thing i will do but with different written type will it going to be accepted no actually it will not going to accept this return let's say like one okay because it will say like method already exist hence hence here with different written types doesn't makes method overloading okay different written types doesn't doesn't basically doesn't make method overloading you need to remember this it doesn't makes method overloading okay you can pass on different parameters i can add one more parameter as well here let's say like uh, int types and i can return that directly here return types by changing the written type that is fine because I am adding another parameter here, right? So method overloading can be possible here. So this is a small video I would like to, you know, uh, discuss about the method overloading, but it's a very, very useful and important concept. Hope it's useful.